you. Thank you, a terrific audience here. And boy, I wanna tell you, we have an entertainer right now that is just TNT. And the reason is uh, that I can mention that because he has just won the most, he is the most recent winner of the Close-Up Magician of the Year Award at the Magic Castle in Hollywood. Would you please welcome Dynamite Daryl? Thank you, thank you. Oh, you get better. <laughs> well, hello, hello. Welcome to the Magic Palace. My name is Daryl. Your name? Linda. Linda? Yes. As in Dale, Harney, and Linda? You got it. Now, I don't want all the folks at home to think that we're working in cahoots. Raise up right. your right hand. What? We have nothing previously arranged, do we? I've been working on it. Oh, well, it's worth a shot. Before, before I do anything, I want everyone to realize that this is just an ordinary packet of cards. This is not a deck of TV magic cards. They are all different. They really are all different. I have nothing in my sleeves, nothing hidden between the digits. And before I do anything else, I will thoroughly shuffle the packet. The reason I don't mind thoroughly shuffling the cards is because the cards that I want are not in the deck. I cheat. <laughs> Inside of my pocket, I keep two very special cards. Every deck comes complete with two jokers. I use the two jokers and a deck of cards, and I'd like you to pick a card, but rather than spreading them out between my hands and attempting to influence your choice, <laughs> no, we don't do that here at the Magic Palace. We do everything very fairly. So I'll just spread them out like this, face up even, and I'd like you, if you will, just to take out any card from anywhere in the deck. It's Aww. entirely up to you. The nine of hearts, mm -hmm. wonderful. To make it extra unique, I'd like you to take this marking pen <laughs> and put your initials oh. or your signature in big, bold letters across the face of the nine of hearts. Okay. Now, that way we know there's no cheating involved. Oh, my. Oh, that's, that looks good. L, Y, N. Very good. Now, we don't need this. I'll put it back to from whence it came. <laughs> One card, a selected card with initials. Now you know that I can't be using duplicate nines of hearts, anything like no. that. Would you just place that into the pack, please? Mm -hmm. Oh, about halfway down, I guess. I'd like everyone at home to see that it really is in the deck. It does have the initials, the signature. I'm going to leave it protruding about halfway. You see, that way I know exactly where it is. Now, I have to know where it is in order to make the trick work. Because what I'm going to do is use the two jokers, the two jokers. They go in one hand. Your card goes into the deck very slowly and very fairly. If it were any more fair, you'd be cheating me. Watch the jokers. Watch the deck. Three or four inches above the pack. That's all it takes. Believe it or not, your card just vanished from the deck, signature and all. It flew through the air upward, and it landed between the jokers, and that is the mystery of the nine of hearts. Oh, oh. oh thank you. <laughs> oh, okay, well, at this point, I would like to explain how that was done, you see. Please do. Well, it's a trick. <laughs> <laughs> no, there's, I'll go a little more detail than that. The nine of hearts goes into the deck. You see, what the magician does, or the card artiste, is as a card is placed into the pack, as it's placed into the pack, I count very quickly. So I notice where it goes. Like right now, it's between the 29th and the 30th card. So if I push it in, I know the card is now 30th from the top. That makes sense, of course. Okay. Now, it gets a little bit more complicated because as I shuffle the cards, I have to count each and every card as it passes the tips of the thumbs. So now, it is 33rd from the top. Well, this is true. <laughs> and if I cut off 16, 9, 12, and the remaining 18 cards, your card should now be repositioned to 27 from the bottom. Therefore, if I pick up the deck, cut off exactly 26, which is easy. That's the dead center of the pack. That's 26, therefore this is the 27th. If my calculations are correct, that should be your card, the nine of hearts. And that's exactly how it's done. Uh, oh, boy, you really liked that one, did you? There's only one small problem. I mean, I'll be honest with you, that is a lot of trouble to go through just to get one selected card. There are other methods. In fact, the method I would like to share with you at this time is what is known as the move. This is the move. It's illegal in five states. Fortunately, Canada, it's OK. The card is not on the bottom, your card. It's not on next to the bottom. It's not on the top or even next to the top, which means, of course, it's uh, somewhere else. But if I do the move, the move is a snap of the finger. Your card rises to the top by itself. You see, that's the move. Now that oh. you understand what it looks like, let me do it for you so you can see how it's done. It goes into the center of the deck. That's about the middle. Goes in in slow motion. I haven't cheated. Not yet. It's coming up any second. But if I snap, that's the move. It rises to the top, cleverly disguising itself on the way. <laughs> Tough to please, eh? <laughs> no, if I snap again, it takes off its disguise, and it looks like the nine we've grown to know and love. Let me do that again. Look, there's the nine. <laughs> it goes in. I'll do it from the front. That way I couldn't cheat even if I wanted to. And I do want to. <laughs> it's in the center. It's not on the top. That's the five. Next to the five is the eight. But we want the nine. So all I do is the move. A snap of the finger, it rises to the top. You believe that? 
Oh, I forgot to do the move. You have to do it very, very loud, otherwise it doesn't work. Look, in slow motion, <laughs> I'll push it forward, cover it with just a few cards like this, not the entire deck. Push it in, give a little snap, it rises to the top of the deck. But this isn't the top of the deck. No, this is the top of the lower half. The top of the deck would be this part over here, you see. That's the part to follow. Oh. <laughs> I'll tell you what I'm going to do. To make this demonstration not only difficult, but almost impossible, I will attempt it without the aid of sight. <laughs> oh, here it is. <laughs> There's the nine of hearts. In fact, to make it extra difficult, I will eliminate half of the deck, OK? Now, I'm just going to use this half of the deck here. It's a lot easier to follow. There's the nine of hearts. It has the initials. It goes into the pack. It's not on the top. I haven't even pushed it in yet. But if I push it in, take the five, just tap it on the table, it changes to the nine. Now, you can go home and try this. Snap your finger. The top card will be the nine of hearts. One out of 52 times. <laughs> There's the nine of hearts. I'll lay it face down, cover it with all these cards, snap with the other hand. It still rises to the top. <laughs> Wait a minute. I can tell that a few of you aren't convinced. You realize, of course, I'm going to keep doing this until everybody loves it. <laughs> Take the nine of hearts yourself, and I'll let you put it into the deck. Anytime you'd like, just say stop. I'll stop. That's where it goes. It's entirely up to you. Stop. OK, face down, please. Mm -hmm. Into the pack. Look, no sleight of hand. We don't need sleight of hand. All we need is the move. That's a snap. It rises to the top. Now, even in slow motion, I could take it, put it in from the front. And I'll even leave it protruding about halfway until the very, very last instant. Look, I'll push it in with just my finger. All I need is the snap. That's the move. It rises to the top of the deck. <laughs> All right. OK. Still not convinced, are you? I'll tell you what. I will eliminate a few more cards. Now, this is as few as I can use. <laughs> and still be able to place the card into the middle of the deck. Now, it's a thin deck, but it still does go into the middle. Until I do the move, then, of course, it rises to the top. Let me do that again. Look, there's the nine of hearts. It really does go between the other two cards. All I do is the move. Watch. That's the move. It rises to the top. Now, you can do this, and it doesn't have to go between the cards. It could just as easily go on the bottom. Makes no difference. A snap, it still rises to the top. In fact, if you want, in slow motion, watch this carefully. There's the nine of hearts. It has the initials. You could place it down on the table, cover it with the other two cards like this, even spread them out. It makes no difference. A little snap, and it'll still rise to the top. Oh. And I don't know how that part works myself. <laughs> I'll tell you what, there's only one way we're going to see how this is done, and that is if I were to cheat, but cheat in your behalf. Look, I'll take the nine of hearts, place it in the deck, but I'll place it in facing upwards. Now watch. With the card face upwards, when it comes to the top, you'll see it. See, that's in slow motion what it looks like. Oh, I fooled myself. <laughs> Let me try that again. See, because it's face up, when it comes to the top, we'll see it. So I'll tell you what I'll do. This time, I'll make it second from the top. Second from the top. Well, that's the six. Oh, well, that's easy. If you take the six, turn it upside down, of course, it'll change into a nine. It makes sense when you think about it. <laughs> One last time. Now, this time, I want you to watch that card. I'm going to bend it in half. I'm doing this on purpose, by the way. The reason I bend the nine of hearts in half is so that you can tell by the side view exactly where it is. I mean, you can't miss that. You see how that's bent? One last time, bend and all, the nine of hearts, with the initials, into the center of the pack. If you don't blink, you will actually see it bend and all with the help of the move. Rise to the top of the deck. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the mystery of the nine of hearts. Thank you. Thank you. Well, thank you very much, your beautiful people. Good evening to you all. Thank you. Oh, thank you.